the teams have all put to sea, ready to do battle for the 15th Marco Rizzotti Trophy, an international competition in the Optimus class for the 4th Venice Optimus Europe Cup, the 6th Castorama Trophy, dedicated to regional teams, and Panathlon prizes. This ever more interesting event is organized by Diporto Velico Veneziano and Compagnia della Vela, the Venice Sailing Club. The heats get underway. Seventeen teams made up of boys and girls of between 8 and 14 years of age and representing eight different countries compete over three days at Punta Sabbioni near Venice, which with its great maritime tradition is only a few kilometers away. All the teams entered are here to win. Three days of warm spring breezes have created perfect conditions for this event, which has seen ever greater participation over the past 15 years. The competitors immediately put all their ability and determination on display, and the event promises to be intense and extremely entertaining. There are no less than 85 dinghies at sea. Two courses have been set up to host the numerous encounters that decide the outcome of the competition. The course staff is made up of 12 umpires and 12 judges, all coordinated by the chief umpire, Luciano Giacomi. The starts are made in rapid succession, with the young sailors giving of their absolute best. Race strategies, drawn up by their respective coaches, are put to the test, and there is ample opportunity for the addition of imagination and invention, depending on the needs of the individual events. A change in the wind, a heavy wave, the level of preparation of the adversaries. All this makes for a unique spectacle, enjoyed mainly by the judges and team staff and followers. This year there is a very low turnout from the public, apart from a number of reporters who shall be recounting the event in the papers or on television. The local Coast Guard and the unit of the Financial Police are responsible for course safety, although there are also a number of deep sea vessels and also rubber dinghies looking after logistic matters, such as transport of supplies and personnel, shuttling back and forth between base point at Punta Sabbioni and the race course, so the competitors can safely concentrate on the race. And so we come to the teams present at this edition of the Marco Rizzotti Trophy. Austria, who have also competed in previous years. Friuli Venezia Giulia, the event winner in 1998. Greece, here for the first time. Garda, a close-knit team. Italy, 
the national team and four-time winners over this course. Lazio, another strong presence. Liguria, a constant presence. Malta, here also for the first time. Netherlands, one of the favourites. Slovakia 1 and 2, always present at the previous editions. Slovenia 1, 2 and 3. They have added yet another team this year, a sign of the great success the Optimist event enjoys among the youngsters of that region. Tuscany, always present at the most important events. Turkey taking part for the first time. Veneto, a team that simply could not be done without. In the first phase of the race, Italy and Veneto storm immediately out in front with three wins apiece, followed by the Netherlands and Friuli Venezia Giulia. Then come Garda and Lazio, each with two victories. Austria, Turkey, Greece, Slovenia won, Tuscany and Liguria all have one win, while Malta, Slovakia one and two, and Slovenia two and three have yet to get off the mark. But it's still all to play for, with lots of encounters still to come. The competitors can't rest up immediately once back on dry land, as dinghies have to be taken to the parking area, cleaned, and the sails folded. Then it's time for a well-earned rest. The Sochive Club is an absolute hive of activity. This year, the organizers of the Rizzotti Trophy, made up of more than 70 people, have arranged for a trip on Venice Lagoon with a dinner of sandwiches and drinks on board. The gentle sunset provides the perfect foil for such a unique setting. Yet another emotion to be remembered and cherished from this stay in Venice. The operative and organizational base for the event is at the Venice Camping Marina. Activity starts at the crack of dawn with press reviews, results and photos being put on view. The teams slowly begin to make their way to Punta Sabbioni. The kids, who are being hosted by Castorama in the comfortable bungalows of the camping facility, with its wonderfully relaxed atmosphere, get ready for another round of heats.
the final touches, plans and tactics, then it's out to sea. The sun's a little on the shy side, but there's no lack of wind. Today, the Marco Rototti Trophy, together with the Venice Optimist Europe Cup, is one of the foremost events in the European calendar, paving the way for the competitors at the World Championships. But it is much more than this. It's an event which manages to maintain an atmosphere of fun and games, albeit in a competitive arena. It's a chance for a meeting without prejudice and without any barriers at all. A sport puts people in touch through respect for a shared set of rules, a common language. So it's a moment for growing and learning, for making new friends and relationships beyond language barriers, which the kids easily overcome. All the teams here this year at the Rizzotti are pretty impressive, especially the Dutch, who've really surprised us. The first round was pretty straightforward, we didn't have any big problems. But in the final we came up against uh, the Friuli team, who really gave us a run for our money. They've always been really our main rival. You could almost call them a kind of second national squad. It was only at the very end that we managed to hold firm and come out on top. Forse più dal punto di vista nervoso che tecnico. A few points relating to the race. In order to underline the features of the Rizzotti Trophy, as well as the normal prizes attesting to the level of preparation, intuitive and decision-making ability of both individuals and teams, it was considered important to award competitors' behavior with the Panathlon prizes as such behavior is a good indicator of the maturity of the athletes, of their respect for the adversaries, for written and unwritten rules, for refereeing decisions, and for the fairness of the encounter. We've been really satisfied this year with the organization of the FIV. The venue and the hospitality here at the Venice Marina have been wonderful, and Venice itself, of course, is a great attraction for the teams from Europe. So, I just add my congratulations for the Rizzotti Trophy and the Castorama Cup. It's been a fantastic success, and the Federation really has a keen interest in the event. I'm sure it's going to keep on growing and developing with even more and more teams in the future. The match continues with a succession of starts and finishes on the two courses, with alternating results and surprises. The youngsters have raced with all their might, saving no effort, just like real men and women of the sea. But after 120 encounters, the Italian national team and the teams representing Friuli and Garda are fighting it out for the top positions. The following positions are being contended for by Lazio, Greece and the Netherlands, while the Veneto has slipped a couple of places to sit halfway down the table. The other teams seem by now to have missed any chance of getting to the semi-final stages. Uh, for us from, uh, from Malta, uh, we think that this event was very well organized. This was our first experience for team racing. And uh, first of all, we look forward to coming again next year. and We, we will definitely be, be better prepared. And uh, the organization was very good. The accommodation is good. The wind is good. The location is good. So uh, we look forward to coming here again. At the end of the round robin stage, after a grand total of 136 encounters, 
The four teams heading into the semi-finals are Friuli Venezia Giulia with 16 wins, Garda with 15, Italy with 14, and Lazio with 13 wins. All Italian teams then, a result perhaps favoured by the absence of the strong Croatians, who had to pull out because of an injury to their captain. But these four teams are without doubt the strongest in the field here. In the end, it is the Italian national team, trained by Massimo Giorgiani and Marcello Turchi, who take victory. Once again, this team has proven its strong temperament, displaying a high level of athletic preparation and strategy. And so the 15th Marco Rizzotti Trophy, organized by the Deporto Veleco Veneziano and Compagnia della Vela, has come to an end. The winners and losers put away their boats for the last time. I think all three days of racing were good. Uh, I think wind was even better than last year. I've been here last year. I think I'm going to be here next year too, because it's a good race, good comp uh, competition. Uh, great teams. I think it's the best for my team to come and participate here. Maybe it's because they're tired or perhaps because a wonderful experience is coming to an end, but there certainly aren't many happy faces. It seems the trainers and others following the teams are the most satisfied. Perhaps because they realize that they've been able to give the kids a unique opportunity, one that will remain with them for a long time. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to uh, thank uh, to the organizer. It's a very good uh, event, and uh, we're just discussing to adopt to ask for uh, to get a second team for next year for this event as well, because we have a tremendous uh, uh, learning effect uh, as a result of this, uh, this event. Very good. <laughs> Um, yes, very nice. Uh, the weather was cool and uh, everything was good. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you very much for everything. We learned many things from the other countries and especially the Italian team. It was first time for us a team race. First day we were a little bit in shock, but then we started to learn. Um, I'm sure that it will help us too much when we start team racing in Turkey. Again, thank you very much for everything. The prize giving ceremony is a serious affair, a solemn moment to conclude the proceedings. Thank 
quest'anno l'edizione, la quindicesima edizione del trofeo Marco Rizzotti si è conclusa felicemente. Grazie a voi atleti, grazie a voi giudici. Then come the brief farewell speeches until next time. All the competitors receive memorial medals from the authorities, the final presentation of the teams. The Castorama Cup goes to Friuli. Our behavior during the races has been awarded to Holland. The Panathlon prizes go to the Netherlands and Turkey. The Turkish team. So, very well, Turkey. Team Garda take third place in the fourth Venice Optimist Europe Cup. Second place goes to Friuli. Ed ora l'assegnazione del primo premio del trofeo Rizzotti edizione 2001 è assegnato alla squadra dell'Italia. And the overall winners are the Italian national team, who also received the Marco Rizzotti trophy. And so it really is all over. The lowering of the flag signals among scenes of joy that, for the moment, the event has finished. Until next year. <laughs>